for bricks and mortar is about getting that customer experience right, whether it's online, in store, or whatever. And if you are bricks and mortar and, and kind of clicks and mortar, let's use that horrible phrase, uh, but let's uh, use that to your advantage, use those channels. For pure play, I think actually it's harder uh, because many of the pure play retailers are multi brand. Uh, and actually price becomes quite a limiting factor in this market. Uh, their wholesaling, their margins are quite tight, so ultimately the differentiator they have is service and delivery, and that comes at a cost. Yeah, it's an interesting question, because ultimately I don't think there are many retailers who have yet. I think a lot of us are thinking about it, uh, but for me it's about getting the data right behind it before you start modelling. So historically at previous retailers I worked at New Look, b &Q, we've done some of that work. So Ropo, Research Online, Purchase Offline, is the approach I will always look at, because ultimately between 90 and 95% of your customers online won't buy it. Uh, so we've spent the last six months starting to gather that data we have 60% of our store data at a customer level in our single customer view so we can start to measure that and very accurately determine not just does it work but actually which customers will it work for uh, and that for me is going to be the big differentiator in the next kind of 12 months. So.